News 46, local coverage you can count on. taxes at Jackson Hewitt and just found out how much he'll be getting back this year. Boy, is he happy there in the neighborhood. Want to feel as excited as Steve at tax time? Jackson Hewitt's How You Do It. No one gets your money faster. We have refund anticipation loans and you can pay nothing out of pocket. After 45 years, Marta Beckett had her final show here on Sunday at the Amargosa Opera House. 250 people filled the room to see her final show. 87-year-old Marta Beckett was once a ballerina. She can no longer stand or walk onto the stage during her show. The actress, singer, dancer, author, and painter said her final farewell yesterday during her last performance to a sold-out audience at the Amargosa Opera House and Hotel. She performed from a chair in her one-woman show. Born in New York City on August 9, 1924, Marta Beckett performed for more than four decades at her own theater. Beckett began ballet lessons at age 14, which eventually led to performances as a ballerina on Broadway. Later, she took her one-woman show across the country, performing in small theaters and school auditoriums. She married in 1962, and she was on her way with her husband to an engagement in 1967 when, due to a flat tire, she discovered a theater in Death Valley Junction and decided to stay. The theater was part of a company town constructed in 1923 to 1925 by Pacific Coast Borax Company. The U-shaped complex of Mexican colonial-style adobe buildings included company offices, a store, a dorm, a 23-room hotel, dining room, lobby, and employees' headquarters. At the northeast end of the complex was a recreation hall used as a community center for dances, church services, movies, funerals, and town meetings. Beckett rented the recreation hall, then known as Cork Hill Hall, began repairs and changed the name to Amargosa Opera House. In 1970, journalists from National Geographic discovered Beckett doing a performance at the Amargosa Opera House without an audience. Their profile and another in life led to an international interest in Beckett and her theater. She began performing to visitors from around the world. In recent years, Beckett dropped the dancing to perform weekly, the Sitting Down Show. Beckett has occupied the theater since since 1968 and personally created the murals and sets. The performances have been the sole source of income for both the Opera House, now owned by Marta's own nonprofit organization, and the entire town. She has an autobiography to Dance on Sands, The Life and Art of Death Valley's Marta Beckett, which was published in 2007. And after her final show, everyone joined at the Amargosa Hotel for a meal and a special cake in her honor. This is Deanna O'Donnell in Amargosa for News 46.